You are not going to believe what these NBA fans did in the middle of a game. Every once in a while, a fan decides to pretty much lose their mind by either running onto the court or trash-talking a player to the point where they have a physical interaction. It's not uncommon for fan interference to take place during an NBA game, and these are just a few clips of that actually happening. By the end of this video, you'll be wondering what in the world were these fans thinking, because to be honest, I don't even think they knew. We'll start off in Cleveland with the Cavaliers facing off against the Los Angeles Clippers during the Lob City years. A member of the Cavs was backing somebody down on offense before attempting a fadeaway jump shot that rolled in and out. The cameras were all focused on the player who was positioning himself for the shot, but nobody realized that a teenager had run onto the court and started talking to Kyrie Irving. Nobody even noticed at first and he just acted like a member of the Cavs. Blake Griffin ended up coming away with the ball and he passed it up to Chris Paul as the two of them started heading down the court to play offense. That's when the kid sprinted onto the court, started running back on defense with the rest of the Cleveland team like he was part of the basketball game. Paul kind of did a double take and realized that there was a kid on the court, so he came to a complete stop and picked up the basketball to talk to the kid. Both he and Griffin looked incredibly mad about this random stoppage in play, but they were just talking to the kid trying to get him off the court. However, when security got over there, they weren't that nice. They fully threw him off the court and were dragging him away to avoid him sitting there any longer than he should have. It was truly shocking that nobody even noticed the kid for a while when he ran onto the court to speak to a player. I mean, even Kyrie didn't even panic over it. He just kind of continued playing basketball and ended up saying something to the kid before everyone noticed. Nobody will ever know what this kid's true purpose was for running onto the court, but it's safe to say he won't be trying anything like that again. He was rushed off the floor so fast by security that he didn't even have time to say another word to a player. Next up, we have a pretty crazy case of interference at the end of a game between the Miami Heat and the Denver Nuggets. There was less than one second left on the clock, with the Nuggets holding a two-point lead. Jamal Murray was fouled, so if he were to make both free throws, it would seal the game for the Nuggets and send the Heat home with a loss in their own stadium. Murray took a deep breath and knocked down the first shot, but something was different. By the time the ball hit the court again, a random Miami Heat fan sprinted onto the court, grabbed the basketball, screamed at all of the players on the court, and then sprinted back off. Meanwhile, the cameras were fixated on Jamal Murray and his incredibly confused expression because this isn't something that happens every game. At first, not many people even noticed what had happened because the game was so close to over. But then security followed him and tried to escort him out, but he wouldn't leave. It caused a small scuffle in the stands between the man and security to try and get him out of the seat and out of the stadium for what he just did. you think that that might have taught him a lesson and he'd never try to pull something stupid like that ever again, but for some fans, they just can't do that. With the Charlotte Hornets locked in a tight playoff series against the Miami Heat a few years ago, a man was getting into it with Dwayne Wade. See, this game was important because the Hornets held a 3-2 series lead over the Heat in the first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs, meaning a win in this matchup would have sent the Heat home early. But Wade wasn't about to let that happen. He drilled a very clutch shot with just about a minute remaining and celebrated in front of the row of fans right behind him, including this man in a purple shirt who was standing up and yelling at Wade. A few seconds later, Wade knocked down yet another very clutch shot to put the game away for good and seal the win for the Heat. He got up celebrating again, and the man in the purple shirt was back up yelling in his face again. The two went back and forth for quite a while, and even the announcers were saying that somebody needs to get a grip on that fan because every time he talks a little trash, Wade would hit another clutch shot. Sometimes as a fan, you just have to know when to shut up and realize that trash talking a player could end up fueling them to beat your own team. And I'm sure that's not what the dude wanted when he bought tickets to that game. In this case, Wade definitely got the best of this man, knocking down so many clutch shots and keeping his team alive when they could have easily been knocked out. If I was any other Hornets fan in the arena at that time, I would have begged for him to sit down and shut up, dude. Control yourself. Stop giving Dwayne Wade and the Heat all that extra motivation that they clearly needed at that time. And that's kind of like how this parent should have kept a little more control over their son during a game between the New York Knicks and the New Orleans Pelicans. See, there was only about a minute left in this ballgame, and the Pelicans were up by seven points. So the game wasn't over, but it was close. Randomly though, during a break in the action when the Knicks were setting up for an inbound pass, a random kid sprinted onto the floor and hugged Carmelo Anthony. Luckily, Anthony was a great sport about the whole situation, even hugging the kid before slowly nudging him back in the direction that he came from. Melo and the rest of the players were kind of laughing it off and just focusing on continuing the game while the referee sent him off the court. Obviously, the cameras continued to follow the kid to see how he got onto the court and who was even watching over him at that time, 
and were shocked to see his mother just standing on the stairs waiting for him. This particular clip was looked over many times by other people, and the more you watch it, the more you realize that the mother more than likely sent him onto the court just to hug Mello. That kid was way too young, and yet he knew exactly how to get onto the court, who to run towards, and how to get off the court in just a few seconds. The mother didn't even look mad over the situation, and the two of them just started walking up the stairs and eventually out of the arena. I'll just never understand why some people feel the need to do things like that, especially when there's not even a reason. But he's not the only kid who has ran out onto the court to see a specific player. The Miami Heat were going up against the Charlotte Hornets again in the first round of the playoffs, and it was Game 7, possibly even the same series that we talked about earlier in the video. There were about 3 minutes left in the game, but the Heat were up by nearly 40 points, and it was all over for Charlotte. The Heat were on offense, and some of the bench players were in just to get the game over and prevent injuries to their starters, when a kid ran onto the court to hug Justice Winslow. The announcers of the game were just as confused as everybody else, with one guy yelling where the kid's parents were at, and the other just agreeing and asking where the heck security was. Maybe the kid didn't even have a preference to who he spoke to at all and he just ran up to the first player that he saw on the court, because Winslow was a role player that year and wasn't the type of player that Wade was, so it was kind of surprising to see him choose Winslow instead of Wade, but I guess he had his reasons that we may never find out. Just like in this scenario with a random fan from the Denver Nuggets, the Nuggets were at home against the Los Angeles Lakers and the game was nearing halftime. There was just one minute left on the clock with the Nuggets leading by five in the playoffs. Denver came down the court with the ball and set up their offense, only to be interrupted by a random woman who just strolled onto the court as if she was completely lost. Like, seriously, she didn't seem like she had a clue what was going on. She just kind of walked out lost onto the court and tried to speak to somebody. A few security guards were able to get together and walk her off the court, and she didn't even resist, though she did act like she was supposed to be there and was kind of confused as to why they were taking her off the court at all. So, a few people ended up digging deeper into this random woman and they found something incredibly interesting. It was reported that she was actually a giant stalker of the Denver Nuggets team. She'd been to multiple games and was following the team buses around and reading every news article about the team. She was flat out obsessed with them and apparently convinced herself that they knew her so well that she could just walk out and start talking to them as if she belonged. And that isn't even the scariest part. The same woman was caught stalking them a few years before this incident and was literally banned from the stadium for life. Yet somehow she got herself tickets to the game and not just any tickets, but tickets in the first row where she could be the closest to the players. I swear guys, some people are just crazy. Thanks everybody so much for watching and be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the video that appears on your screen now to continue watching more shocking fan moments.